Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Grimwit. This is me, Asmata. Well, that's enough of watching bugs fucking. What a wonderful sunset. Let me add fire to the fire. Hmm. Close enough. This might be the last episode in search of the cure. We really only have the one plant left. Time for bed in the morning. Rather than searching for the cure, we're going to look for a nearby camp. Fill up on water in preparation. And what the hell? Let's grab a knife. It's no Masamune, but it'll do. I was having trouble thinking about what to do. Oh, good lord. <laughs> My cat, which is a new cat, is in heat. And there is no way that I can record without it meowing incessantly. Sure, let's talk about my cat. So my cat has been addressing random objects in hopes of it fulfilling its one desire. Kiara, or as I have called her, because she tends to roll on the floor a lot, Swiffer has tried to present herself to the following objects. A door. The stairs. A bowl of pretzels. My feet. My chair. My father-in-law. This path looks deliberate. Hidden behind a bush near a head. And it is deliberate. For it leads straight to a camp. And I completely missed it. I was hoping for more story, but we're running out of that, too. What's this? That looks familiar. Just a moment. It automatically mapped out the area for me. And it is north of camp. This is very nearby. If nothing else, I may run into this area here. Although, is it my imagination, or did that show... Ah, it showed four areas around the mountain. Well, that's directly north of us. Cat stories notwithstanding. Let's see if we can find it. That also should be very nearby. Which will change up the nature of this Let's Play a little bit once we get it. But until then, let's go ahead and find it first. Okay, this area of the forest is... That's a really cool bug. Frightfully quiet. The fact that there's a creature here means that there's no... Uh, creature. I 
thought I might be able to pick these. Maybe not. They're pretty. Hmm. There's a nature's trail right there. This might be the pathway the map mentioned. Although I think I'm well off the map now. I'm lost. No, I'm not lost. We're around this area. This should be where the plant is. Lo and behold, here it is. If my map was to be believed, there's only four of these in this area. That's three more than we need. Oh, there's the other one. Well, let's not waste any time and head directly south and get back to camp. I really am sorry for the cat in the background. At least she's not shoving her way. Wow. Not on any of my maps. I'm afraid to go into water. That's how I lost Excalibur and Masamune. So we'll skirt around this. But in the meantime, what monuments? Larger than any head we've come across, I think. Are they carved out of a single structure of stone? With so many rocks, you could believe it was chiseled into this shape. They were chiseled into this shape. Marvels aside, that isn't our goal. This way south. I'm impatient to get back. I'm stuck in stuck in a tree. Wow, that was very close. In fact, there are two camps right there. I've decided before I begin mapping, I'm going to take a drink of water. Because that shit gets ridiculous. Oh please, oh please. Yes, I caught at least one of the monuments. Later on, I can come back and map this. For that, I need to get down. There we go. That was an interesting glitch I just saw. Other tent. Other tent. Alright, let's get a good look at this thing. The suspense is terrible. I hope it'll last. This is it. 
It's the fundamental synthesis of Agent Z. We'll put it over here in our inventory. Save, save. Our quest is near its end. And really, there's no obstacles in our way. In fact... Yeah, let's just go running in wild abandon. Woo! Yeah, this was a great idea! Fuck you, ground! You're not gonna trip me up anymore! We hop a couple of times, too. I would expect the corners of my screen to be dimmed slightly, showing that I have a fever, but nope. Robert Hughes just tripped and is like, you know what, I give no foxes. This is it. I gotta be sure. Agent Z. Pretty much the Colossal Plant and the Pitcher Plant. We have both. Let's make us a medicine. Boy, will I feel dumb if this doesn't work. Check this out. Agent X, Y, and Z. Once I grab hold of it, that is it. It apparently only takes a sm slight amount to fulfill the cure. My hands, as you can see, are actually clean. If I pick up something, you get a better look at it, I guess. Then again, I guess not. The sky is a little bit brighter. I'm not sure if that's on purpose or if it's just because it's a wonderful day to be alive. My strength, endurance, and perception are all set to high. And here's the nice part. Here's the reason why you really want the cure. No more creature. Robert Hughes no longer has to deal with the creature. It will no longer stalk us. Our heartbeat will never beat fast again, at least not because of him. And that's it. Now, where are the credits, you're wondering? The plague is cured. Where the hell are the credits? Well, that is it, but that's not entirely it. And this is why. There's a boat landing. It's to, what is that, the west? Never eat soggy watermelons. The west of Tao, or as I've been saying, Dao. Here we go. This is Outpost Dao. And there's the island with the boat landing. It's quite a distance away from the mainland of Eden.
So what does this mean for us? What does it mean for the Let's Play, even? Well... The thing is, I don't want to leave the island yet. There's still a mystery of murder. The question of who killed all these people. And it's easy to say with the uh, instability of personality. Uh, oh no, no, it's partially buried. That's why it's sticking out. That Herbert Goo did it. Or Goose. Or Go? Go? But we don't actually know. He's clearly a monster if he did. Who would attack an innocent poet like that? But the question of whether or not he did is... Well, I don't know for sure. For now, we'll assume he did and we'll try and look for his body. How many bodies have we found so far? I'm also shooting for the lighting up these things achievement. Actually, where am I? There's that camp right there that I wanted. Let's see if we can get to it. We'll finish off the episode at Draco and see how that experiment I set up was doing. We no longer have to take any medicines. Tripping will be less likely. Let's see... This way? It's actually kind of a gentle slope. I'm surprised I missed this area. Wait a second, this looks familiar. I think this leads to Rigel. Yeah, we've been here. <laughs> I see the camp up there. I didn't realize it was on such high ground. No wonder I missed it. All that, and I, I have a tendency to kind of jump in before I even... Before I even look around. What secrets await inside? Oh, there are two camps here. Okay. That's cool. What's up, little squirrel? Hi. Will you teach me your ways? There might be no secrets at all. It's right next to a trumpet plant. It just occurs to me that I don't actually need these, and there are no notes here. How disappointing. It at least gives me something to work with when I decide to come back and map the whole island. That's north. So, I've saved, and I'm curious. What happens... I've never actually tried this. What happens when I'm cured of the plague and I fall off a cliff? Normally, with the plague, I would fall off the cliff and then get a fever. Of course, dropping everything that I have in my hands. No, no, let's get really high. No, my momentum for my marbly goodness is, is not enough. There we go. I'm sure this is a good idea. Well, it'll get me closer to the bay anyway. Hop! Nothing. Hop! By all rights, I should be dead. No fever, no blurry vision, pretty much no, uh, no reason not to just jump off of every cliff on the island. Hmm, I didn't know this plant was here. Well, I did not get all of the plants. There are supposedly 32 to do research on, and I... Uh, not sure how many I did. I never actually planned to gather all of the plants anyway. Um, 
I'm not even sure where some of the uh, rarer ones are located. Fuck it, let's take a drink of water. We don't need to anymore, but we sure can. That's another thing. Robert Hughes, now that he's cured, is not constantly drying out and losing water anymore. So, I'm not going to get all the notes for the plants, but I will try and get all of the actual notes, the story notes. They're easy enough to find. All you have to do is find a camp that you haven't been to before. And there are plenty of those. The first landmark we added to our map. Well, second. I guess Draco is the first. No. It was the head in the bay. My memory's all sketchy. Check up on our experiment, and then... I guess we'll call it an episode. But not an LP. Out of the way, squirrel. I'm a man, I'm on a mission. Huh. Alright, objects dropped are persistent, as is damage done to the foliage, so there is a limited number of medicines you can get. Good lord, if you run out by using them properly, I'd be impressed. It means you're terrible at dodging the monster. Or falling off of cliffs or what have you. Pendograph? So, the next episode might take a little bit. I'm not going to lead you to every single camp. Even though there's a nice cluster of them, um, right about here-ish. Maybe... No, no, right here there's a big cluster of them. Plus I missed one camp right there. We haven't been to that one. I'm pretty sure I passed up a couple of others. I'll probably have to go through all my videos and keep track. And then, then... Afterwards, after I get all of the, after I get all of the camps, and hopefully all of the messages, where we came in. Broken and pulled ashore backwards. But, um, yeah, that's it for this video. It's been a good video. Last we'll see of the creature. Stay tranquil, everyone. <laughs>